happy day, everybody. <laughs> oh, we are here to, to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were talking and um, last week we changed up our food a little bit. So we thought it would be cool to talk to you guys about fear of change um, and um, and kind of how to deal with it because it's very hard especially when you get stuck or when something's working um, but when you want permanent weight loss or when you're trying to achieve a specific goal you're always going to need to be changing something um, whether it be the way you work out or like the types of exercises or the types of food um, or the amounts, you're always going to have to move forward, um, especially not just physically or not just like in your food, but also mentally as well. Um, so, um, one of the things like I have here, yesterday we were doing some cleaning and I discovered this. This has been in our crawl space for four years now, at I think. At least four years. At least yeah. four years. Um, this, I will show you what this is. Tubing. This is something that you used to need every single night. Scary face mask. This is my CPAP machine. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, I used to have sleep apnea when I was um, really big. Um, I stopped breathing seven times a night completely. My brain would shut down completely. Um, 84 times a night, my brain partially shut down. So I basically stopped breathing half. So I would like barely be breathing. Um, so most of the night my brain would be shut down and I was at risk of dying all the time. <laughs> Not breathing at all. Um, after the first year, I was able to get rid of, like, to not use my CPAP anymore. Um, but as you can see, I've not, I, I've not gotten rid of it because I had this fear that if I got rid of it, that it would come back. And it, it seems so silly because I keep going forward. Now I'm building muscle, um, and I know that I'm never going back. But in my head, mentally. I have a really hard time. I honestly, in my brain, had talked myself into thinking that as soon as I put this out at the curb or as soon as I give it to somebody who might need it um, or whatever I do with this, that I would get it back. That is a, is a, was a legitimate fear for me and it's, it still kind of is. But I seen it and I said, you know what? I think we need to include this in a video because I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that don't want to get rid of certain things. Like for a really long time, I kept all of my bigger clothes, my fat clothes, because I was afraid if I got rid of them that I would need them again. Um, I'm sure some of you probably feel the same way or have certain things that you're scared to throw out because you think if you do that it'll bring you back to that place before. So that's that's one of those things where you're scared to move on 100% but keeping those things, they might keep you back. Um, they might stop you from moving forward. So after this video, um, I'm probably gonna look into donating this for parts or for the machine so that someone else can use it who needs it because I know I'm not gonna need this again. And even though in my brain I still might be a little bit scared that because I gave it away that I'm going to get it back, the other part of me knows that I'm going to work my butt off for the rest of my life so that I don't need this because I'm not going back to that scary place where Kyle was worried about me going to sleep because he didn't think I would wake up sometimes or he was scared that I would stop breathing and never start again. Um, the same with myself, worried that I was gonna, you know, stop breathing at night and not ever breathe again. Uh, I, I'm never doing that to myself or someone that I love again. Um, and I know some people will need this, will always need it. There are some people that are in good shape that have sleep apnea. 
for me, it was my body weight. Uh, I was I was too heavy, and um, I had too much fat around my my neck, and it restricted me when I was sleeping. So this this baby, it's going to somebody that needs it because I don't anymore, and that's a really hard thing for me to get over. But if I can do it, you guys can do it too. And the other thing that we were scared of changing, and I, I was really nervous this week about it, was. Um, you guys know, you see in our meal preps and, and all of the things that we've shown you in our days where we show you our full day of eating, that we were eating brown rice and sweet potatoes. Well, we decided, and, and because we're putting on muscle, our, our metabolism, we really increased our metabolism and we needed a, um, some more fast acting carbs, so we decided to buy a bag of white potatoes. And in the beginning, I was going to the grocery store thinking, okay, we're going to buy just a couple. And Kyle's like, well, it makes more sense to buy a bag. And as soon as he picked up that bag, in my head, I was like, oh my God, you can't buy a bag of white potatoes. You know, white potatoes are, are bad. You're going to get fat eating white potatoes. And I was freaking out, panicking. But I, I knew that the other part of me knew that I could handle it, but my old, my, my fat brain part of myself was telling me that I was going to go back to being fat if I ate a white potato. <laughs> Those are the things that you've got to, even though it's really scary, you have to part with those old ways because those are the guilty feelings that are going to come back and try to pull you back to where you were before. And not changing and the fear of change will keep you stuck. Yeah. And I, I know that my body can handle a white potato and it's a white potato. It's a potato for Christ's sake. It's a vegetable, you know, but in my head, I'm thinking eating white potatoes is going to make me fat. And, and that's, you know, bodybuilders that are eating to fuel their bodies. They're not, when they're eating white potatoes and white rice or sweet potatoes or brown rice or whatever they choose to eat, they're not thinking this is going to make me fat. They're thinking this is a muscle building meal. It's I'm gonna fuel me. Fueling my muscles and fueling my workout. So I was able to to change it, but I still had that little piece at the back of my my head. And even we decided to eat green beans the last couple of weeks, and I was scared because green beans have carbs. And I was scared that adding a little bit of green beans, which we were doing to add more fiber into our diet because we had been having broccoli, but bean, the green beans have more fiber. Um, I was scared of that too. I was scared that that was going to make me fat. And we also changed and ate pork chops this week instead of chicken. So every meal that I ate, I was scared that I was gaining weight, but I felt myself being leaner. My stomach was a bit flatter. Um, I felt really good, my muscles were full, but in my brain, I was scared of change, so I was still convincing myself that this was not a good meal for me. Well, when I got on the scale this week, I had maintained my muscle and my body fat stayed the same, but I had actually dropped some weight on the scale. So all of that fear and anxiety was for nothing because my body, uh, clearly needed that food to help me keep my muscle. And you know, some weeks I'll drop body fat and gain muscle, other weeks I just maintain, but I can still see the physical changes in my body that I'm constantly putting on more muscle and um, you know, getting curvier and that's exactly what I would like to do. And I'm getting more fit looking, looking like I'm lifting weights, but I'm, my head, of course, well, it always is going to try to pull me back and I just have to learn that my brain is always going to try to make me scared. So I have to stop being scared of change, stop listening to the scared part of my brain and listen to the logical side of it that says a white potato and green beans are not going to make you fat. They're going to help you make your muscles fall. And we're in a different you know? place now than we used to be. Yeah. And so now it's been four years and I, I, I still don't have sleep apnea. So I think it's safe to get rid of it. It's even though it's really scary, 
it's okay to make changes and even if it doesn't turn out, even if you change your diet or eat something different one week and you happen to gain weight or it doesn't feel right, it's okay because you can just change it the next week or the next day. You don't you don't have to be scared of what's going to happen because whatever happens, you've learned something. Whether it worked or didn't work, you learned that it worked or didn't work. You learned something. And that's the most important part is stepping forward. Even if it's to learn that you need to try something different, to get over that fear of change and the fear um, of change that's keeping you stuck, you need to just branch out, just put your toe in the water, it's okay. Keep evolving, keep moving forward. Yeah. Even if it's a little bit at a time, keep moving that forward. Is, that is the key, that's how Kyle and I, that's another piece of how Kyle and I have been able to keep all of that weight off and are now able to, to build muscle and to work out and it's, it's another reason of why we can eat the way we eat during the week and not touch any of the, the treats on our shelf until treat day and how we can eat all day treat day and we haven't binged in years because we're, we're learning and we're moving forward and we're battling those fears that we used to just give into. So today, you pick something or let us know something that you're scared of and that's keeping you stuck because mine, of course, is this machine right here. My fear is that if I get rid of this machine, that I'm gonna need it. So what I'm gonna do as soon as the camera shuts off is I'm going to go and put this away to give it away, to donate it or bring it right out to the road and get rid of it because I'm not scared of this change anymore. It may in my brain still try to come in, but I'm not gonna let it. I'm still gonna follow through and get rid of this. So. Think of something that you think is keeping you stuck and try, you know, I'm challenging you to try and break through that fear. Hope you learned something from this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and you know about it, don't you? <laughs> um, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm about my fist of doom. <laughs> Boom. Bye friends. Bye guys.